Okay, you see we got an old dock here. Um, all the posts over the years have changed uh, the heights and the dock is nailed in. There was no joist hangers used. Uh, the boards are in still pretty good shape, so we'll try to take them off and salvage, salvage a lot of those uh, two by sixes. But you see, you know, the dock's all collapsed in the center. Looks like this must be a post right here that has risen up underneath. So we want to make sure uh, we leave enough room on the new design, which is going to be a big problem if this is the swimming area and you got all these rusty nails in the water. So you got to be careful here, taking the boards off uh, mainly near the swimming area. As we get further into the deck here, we don't want to make uh, too many mistakes and drop nails in, but it wouldn't be as critical because people won't be swimming under there. Okay, so we got a good part of the boards off here. You can really see these posts now in the water, how crooked they are. I don't, don't even know how this dock is staying up here. It looks like the ladder is holding it up. <laughs> One of the reasons why the stock got so warped is because they used two by sixes and they built another center beam here underneath here. So you know you're a little limited if you're gonna have just two by sixes. You can't span them that far between six to nine feet maximum. So the guy who built this deck put a center uh, beam in there. But it looks like the major problem he did here is he seamed the beam here. He didn't get one full length two by six here so he's got a seam here you know and now the post you know you can see the post is higher the beam sunk down there and the whole dock got warped so if you're going to do something like this make sure you put a solid uh two by six you should really double it going across the middle here Okay, we're going to see, uh, we got a sagging dock here, and we're going to use a car jack here and a post uh, to jack this dock up so we could put some new posts in it. So we went out and got some chain, and then we're going to do it again now with uh, the chain instead of the straps. these lag bolts here. Okay, and now I could lower the jack and move it to another section of the dock.
so what I got here is one of those quick crete uh, tubes, 8 inch. And I, they didn't have PVC. It would be great if you could find 8 inch PVC so it would be waterproof. But what I did is I doubled up uh, some bags around this and I put a, you know, a bunch of grocery bags, maybe three or four of them at the bottom, plus these two bags. I put some sand in here and I'm going to put a little concrete in. Then I'm going to push it down into the bottom and start loading the concrete in. On the 4x4 four four, I put some nails in it. Uh, just to keep it locked into the concrete and uh, you know once the concrete gets in there it should be fine. Uh, the buoyancy factor is going to try to push up from the bottom when you're pushing it down there that's why I want to put a little concrete in there to give it some weight because it's only plastic bags at the bottom you don't want to break through and all the water come in. Okay, uh, we're going to do another tube here and took some grocery bags. This time we got a 12 inch diameter tube and put some grocery bags around the end here. There's the hole that's going to go in down there. My coworker. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to pay you overtime. Whoa, he's going under the dock. This is a crazy loon.
trimming off the tops of these uh, posts with the new Ryobi um, rechargeable um, sawzall. <laughs>